Hey guys, welcome to a new video. If you've been watching my channel for a while, I am sure you have seen this bow in a video here and there. And every time I use this bow in a video, I get so many questions about where I got it. Well, the thing is, I don't remember. I probably got it at Claire's when I was like 14 years old. I have had this pretty much as long as I can remember. But these things, hair accessories like this, are actually really, really easy to make. So today I thought it'd be fun if we made some hair bows together. I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'm gonna show you two different types. I will be using this piece of fabric for one of them and a thicker ribbon for the other. So we're gonna do two types of hair bows. So this one is attached to one of these snap clips in the back. So I will be using those for this video as well. I have two of these little snap clips here. So let's get started. For the first bow, we're going to need a fabric of choice. I have this really pretty brown with florals. We are going to need fabric scissors, needle and thread, the snap clip hair accessory, whatever you choose. And we're going to need a hot glue gun. To start, I am going to be making my bow. So for that, actually, this fabric is at a width that works for this project, because I will be folding this three times like that, and then folding the two sides inwards, and then that's going to be the size of my bow right around this size, which should fit onto my clip pretty nicely. However, there is one step that I have forgotten, which I definitely should have done prior to filming, but hey. <laughs> the fabric should be ironed, because I have a big ol' crease in my fabric here, which I'll have to iron out first. So I will be right back. All right, we are back with appropriately ironed fabric. So as I mentioned, I will be folding this in three in about the width or the uh, height that I want my bow to end up with. I think something like this should be big enough. I don't want it to be too big. Cut my fabric along this fold. Now, if you want it to be super, super thorough, you could um, sew this down or kind of fell this to the fabric. I don't really think it's necessary because we are going to fold this and it's going to be in the inside anyways. Because we're going to fold both of these ends towards the center like that. This is where I am actually going to sew. Now, again, you don't necessarily have to do that, but I do feel like this will add a sturdiness to the bow that is worth it. So you could actually just really simply lay these on top of each other. And then just with a very quick running back stitch, attach them to each other. Now this doesn't have to be super neat. The seam won't be visible in the finished result. This is really just to make sure that this holds together. It will make the process a little bit easier once we start attaching the bow to the clip. Alright, so then next you will need a thin little strip to make your center piece. So I'm just gonna cut another strip off of this fabric. It doesn't have to be full length, but do make it wide enough because you do want to fold this three times again. I think about this much should be enough. So I'm gonna fold it in, fold it in, And then I'm going to wrap this around the bow. Squish it. The way we're going to attach this is by using the hot glue gun. And I am actually going to start by hot gluing the center of the bow to the center of the clip so that it is attached like that. So once that is glued, I am going to take my little center piece. I'm going to pull it through this round bit of my clip. 
and around the bow. Alright, and when I'm happy, I am going to add a dollop of glue right underneath that little round part. And stick one side of the fabric down. And I'm gonna cut off this excess fabric on one side. I'm gonna add another dollop of glue right on top. And then take the other side of the fabric, stick that down as well. I'm gonna try and pull it through that little round bit. Make sure it's tight enough in the front, that the bow looks nice. And if you're happy with it, you can snap off the excess on this part as well. If you want it, you could just add a little extra dollop of hot glue just to finish off this edge. And there is your first snap clip bow finished! Really, really cute, really easy to use and 100% customizable to your taste. So for the next one, I'm going to use the same type of snap clip, but this time I will be using a ribbon to make my bow. So I have this really beautiful white ribbon with silver sparkles or this kind of like silvery thread along the edge. And I think it will be perfect to make a little bow out of. And for this one, I want to make some hanging bits down the front as well, just like this one has, because I feel like that's what really sells this bow. So I am going to make my bow in three parts. I'm going to make my loops, I'm going to make my center bit, and I'm going to make my hanging parts. So let's determine the size of the bow first. I think it shouldn't be much smaller than the snap clip, not too big either. So I think around this size should be good. So let's snip it off right behind the center here. So there I have my center, we're doing the same shape as we did with the previous one. So then for my hanging bits, compared to this, I think maybe that long should be nice. And I think I will cut them at an angle. Now if your ribbon is th synthetic, then you could very carefully seal the edges by taking a lighter and just holding this next to the flame. Be careful not to burn it. That will kind of melt the plastic and seal the edge so that it doesn't fray. So I'm gonna do that both ends. Be really careful when you're doing this. You could do the same thing to these edges as well, by the way. If you wanna make sure that your ribbon lasts as long as possible. All right, so that's what my bow is going to look like. So now I just need my little center piece, which I am just going to cut from this ribbon as well. I think about this much should be enough. I am going to fold this in threes again, just so that it isn't too wide. All right, for this bow, since it consists of three different shapes and not just two, I think I'm gonna make the whole bow separately and then attach the whole thing to this clip. This one's also a little bit lighter than the fabric one, so I feel like we don't need to wrap it around the actual clip for it to still hold. So first, let's sew these two bits together. The next step is to take my two end bits and the bow and I'm going to wrap this little bit around all three of these, two, all two of these, <laughs> both. Wow, language on point today. Just kind of gonna squish everything together. And when I'm happy with how it looks, I will hot glue this together. Cut off the excess, gonna carefully seal it. I'm going to add, again, a dollop of glue to my snap clip here, right in the center, and attach the bow. Now, if you want, you could also add a little bit of glue on both ends of the clip. That'll just make the 
ribbon hold shape a little bit better and the bow of course in results especially if you're using a bit of a flimsier fabric like this then it's really important to add these two on the ends as well but once you've done that there is your second snap clip hair bow done as well Alright guys, so those are my two DIY hair bows. Like I mentioned, you can make this out of any material. If you want to go for a more romantic bow like this one, then a kind of more sheer, see-through, lighter material would be better. But honestly, anything you can find can be used for this. So I really hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and found it helpful, guys. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for loads more beauty and lifestyle content. If you would like to support me through Patreon or my merch store, there'll be links in the description box below. Thank you so much for your support. There is another video here that I think you might also enjoy. You can go watch next. Thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!